Man, you know, four years ago, um, I met the mother to my kids. We pretty much, you know, been on and off, but we decided to, you know, be about each other as up this last year. Everything been cool up until the last couple months. Well, I felt like maybe she's stepping out a little bit. I ain't caught her with her pants down or nothing like that, but I think she cheating because the people she hang around with, her crowd. My girl is a party girl. They club on the weekends. They kick it. They turn up. When we good, we good, man. We got the best relationship ever. And if I'm feeling a certain type of way, I'm, of course, I'm going to go to GPS and see what's going on. I want to see what you've been doing. I want to see where you're going. So she say I'm checking on GPS. Hey, I am. You know what I'm saying? I check my packages when I order shoes, when I order my shirts and hats. I want to know when it's coming and when I'm going to receive it. So if you my package, I can check up on you when I want to. She took a lot to take the test, and at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. If she pass, we can get back to us. If she don't pass, let's work it out. If you don't wanna work it out, let's walk away, but let's not continue to play the games that people play. Here's the thing, I'm a hoe. She know this about me. She know I keep a flock of females. She know why I keep a flock of females. The same thing with her. But if we both make an agreement to leave that alone, that's what we should be on. She know I ain't cheating. Keeping it real, I'll take a test. I ain't got time for it. I love being at home with her. I love being around my son. I love our daily events. I love what we do. I wouldn't change that for the world. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to change her. I just want her to get back to me. What made me want to try it again is, is that I love her for one. You know what I'm saying? We lost a child a couple years ago for two. So I always wanted to be closer to the son that we do got to live in. And I'm an only child. I don't have no siblings. And to have somebody come into my life and love me, you know what I'm saying? That makes me a better me. You feel me? Instead of me going out here searching for it, looking for it, messing with the knuckleheads, and I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather keep it base. Like, this my, I got a child with you. Let's make it work. It's been four years off and on. Four years. And when he hears, when you hear him talking about you, that you're a package, how does that make you feel? That makes me feel like, like crap, Steve. Like, I'm, I've been a lot to him. Like, we didn't been through hell and back. We didn't been through bad times and good times. So, I never would have thought he would think of me like a package. Right. Um, have you ever cheated on him? I wouldn't say I ever cheated on him. He was back and forth. He was in and out. So if you leave for a few months, for months at a time, and I move on, that's not considered cheating. Right. Okay. So you're saying you weren't, you didn't think you were together? No, we wasn't together. You can't just pop up at my door at 3, 4 in the morning and I want my girl back. That's not how it works. He, he's a good guy. He got a lot of, you know, qualities that, that, I need for him to possess. I have a four-year-old son, and I can't teach him how to be a man. He has to lead by example. Right. And he's the biological father. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, he installed a GPS tracking device on your phone. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like he did that to you? Well, I, I feel less than a woman. Like, he makes me feel like a child. Like, I don't... I don't feel like I deserve to be tracked. I don't deserve that. Right. Um, now, you took a polygraph to prove that you're not cheating on him. If you pass, do you think that he'll change it all? He said that he would, and I'm, I'm going to trust him and, you know, believe in him, have some faith in him that he will. All right, let's meet him. Here's Ron. I understand how you feel. This is why I feel how I feel. Never once did I install a tracking device on your phone. You're on my account with your Gmail or email. With that being said, anything you do, I can see. If I choose to see it, I choose to see it. Boy, you're crazy. That's made but, up. Uh, would, would you like it if somebody tracked your every moment? Man, listen. If I'm calling you and on the other line, put them on hold. I'm your man. I know, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, she says she loves you. I love her. She gave you a son, right? Yeah. Why so, Why the need to constantly track her, I'm, see what see, she's doing? y'all got to understand something, man. Do you I'm, think she's cheating on you? I can't honestly say, man. I don't have no hard evidence. Why? But I you're, you're here for a reason. I, I mean, the thing about it is, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, 
like I said, she she go to work. You know they what I'm saying? Home. I call, she off, she don't never answer the phone. You feel me? If you ain't never picking up your phone and you off, what's the reason? I ain't saying that's the issue. How but does she treat you? She love me. I know she love me. I love her. All right. Pure so, point blank. Okay, so if you know she loves you, why question her? Don't be my woman at home and be somebody else in the street. Is she? No, I, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know, man. I can't say for a hundred percent that lay, that's what it is. You bro. lay down with her every night. You, uh, you better believe I do. <laughs> well, that's, every night. Well, that's my point. It's like I lay down with the same woman every night, and I know, like, my trust in her. Why don't you have the same trust in her as I do in my life? Because no, no. this why. No, no. This why. This. My answer for that is this. I know what I am. She know what I was when I met me. What were you? A hoe. <laughs> you heard me? But you changed. But I changed. Right. So I set all that down for her. You know so what I'm saying? Why I can't because her movement changed. But is it bro. more about what you were doing and that the way you're feeling now? I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I could be, you know what I'm saying, a, a little bit paranoid, a little bit insensitive about the situation, but hey, but she know how to, she know how to put the cables on me, bro. You hear me? She know how to charge me up. You hear me? I could be a, a bunch of fat. Mm -hmm. what? You hear me? And do you really think that she's cheating on you? Hey, man. If I tell you a duck and pull a truck, hook it up. That's mine. You got that from me. Steve, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is hers. You came and you took a lie detector test and we asked you, since your birthday, last year have you had any sexual contact with anyone besides ron you answered no since your birthday last year have you had sexual intercourse with anyone besides ron you answered no and the results for mila's lie detector test came back inconclusive oh. what do you what do you think about that i ain't messed up about that man we people we human we smoke weed we pop pills we do what everybody else doing I ain't took my that. But not before the show, I didn't. Right or wrong. Okay, Ron, you came and took Eliza to the test. And we asked you, since Milo's birthday last year, have you had sexual contact with any other females that Mila does not know about? You answered no. Yeah. Dude, you can't get me with that look. <laughs> Since Mila's birthday last year, have you had sexual intercourse with any other females that Mila does not know about? And you answered, no. The results came back the same for both questions, and they came back that Ron told the truth. We, we, we smoking my pills together. How was mine inconclusive, but you got results on him? Right. Well, you're he, inconclusive he's because drinking. you did drugs. He did too. Well, we but, do them together. But <laughs> we pop pills, no. we smoke, we 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 do okay, it together. So I'll just say this: Dan must have evaluated you, and your levels were normal enough, and he passed. What? Now that she's that. inconclusive, what's going to happen with your relationship? Man, we just gonna get better, man. Cause I love my band. You love her. So, in conclusion, say no to drugs and love your man. <laughs>